Hello, I am Ice Beast, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. So I just noticed that uh, we somehow got this little piece of land right here. Parma, I don't know who did it. Um, the Duke of Pest apparently accomplished that goal. This guy apparently somehow had a claim on land over here. No big deal. Not, not complaining at all, but he did that, so good for him. Um, so this will probably be our uh, final episode. Uh, not much more to go now. We could try to take the papacy if we wanted to. Um, but I think we're doing fine. England is going to be an interesting, um, problem in... If we convert to EU4. I may convert this game to EU4 and start a new CK2 series. I think that is actually what I'm looking at doing. If I do that, however, that means that, um... Um, that means that we have to, sorry, my brain is just not working at the moment. If I do that, I'll have to, I'll probably have to run these series on alternate days, just because I don't have enough time to uh, do both, uh, and my Distant World series, and Scotch and Stone, and anything else I decide to put up, because I love playing games. Um, so yeah, that, that's pretty much what's going to happen. What is this? Why do you suck? There's no reason to upgrade you now. I'm just kind of curious why you sucked so much. Um, but, oh, we won. Our allies won, or our, uh, our minions won that war. So that's nice. Uh, I think instead of attacking the Golden Horde, who won't be too strong, come, uh, come EU4, I'll attack, uh, is this a Lithuanian revolt? Okay, one sec. Do, do we have any claims on Lithuania? Nothing interesting. So we could take the Golden Horde, or I could attack the Hanadid. Um. Oh, somehow we've uh, gotten that one little eyeball that was missing from us, so good for these guys. Empire is doing fantastic. Let's keep going, though, because... Uh, just wasting time right now. We got years to go by. Years to go by. I think I'm going to attack the Hananids right now. Um, actually, I'm going to attack the Golden Horde first. Since it's here. And we can maybe get complete control over the Black Sea. Crimea would be a great thing to a target. Can we get Crimea? Declare war for Crimea? Hmm. It's not all of Crimea, though. Alania. Um, no, I think Crimea still is actually going to be what we hit. Alright, let's get these troops back up here. What are you doing, by the way? You're currently leading troops. You have 26,000 men to your name. That's a big army. How many men do we have to our name? Out of curiosity. Ledger. Previous. Previous, previous, previous. Previous. Independent states, there it was. Army. We have the biggest army at 128,048. Crushed the Timurids by 40,000 men. Um, that's good. <laughs> Byzantine Empire is doing pretty fantastic. You know, we're not... I wonder how far we would be to being able to uh, uh, restore the Roman Empire. Um, the Duchy of Sicily is completely controlled. The Republic of Genoa is not... No, neither is. Yeah, we wouldn't be able. We're too far. It's all this stuff down here that I'm missing. Um, interesting, though. And we'd, to mend the Great Schism, we'd have to have Antioch, um, Jerusalem, Alexandria, and Rome. Also don't have that. But cool. Whatever. Uh, I will try to take this region, I think. Um, though... Antioch is right around here somewhere. There it is. Right here. So if I went to war with you, declare war for Antioch, yeah, I'd probably take that next anyways. Teach them a lesson. But let's do this war first. It's possible this is the second to last episode. I may have lied about this being the first to last episode. <laughs> but the sooner we do this, I mean, I I'm going to just probably... 
power through this as the last episode. Uh, oh, that wasn't actually troops of my enemy. I was like, why didn't I get anything from that? Six, five, four, three, two, one, and... There we go. Gotta just rush these things down. Use our ridiculously overwhelming military force to accomplish that goal. It's kind of nice just being ridiculous. Weakening the republics, which won't exist in EU4 anyway. Um, our guy died. That's too bad. I'll have you train troops. Not that it really matters, but I will have you do that. Um. Good, our ally won their war without our intervention. So I saw something interesting that just popped up. I want to look at that once uh, we push this siege. Come on. Okay, what did this say? Time reduction based on relative army strengths. Got it. That's what I was trying to figure out what that said. And my wife is pregnant again. Jesus Christ. That woman. She. Me and her. Just constantly banging. Nothing. Good thing we don't have to worry about our dynasty ever falling apart. Halfway done with the war. It is a little gamey that I can basically just come in here um, and snipe this province without... Uh, before the enemy even has a chance to really react. Um, but it is what it is. I'm not complaining about it. It's just maybe something that they, they might want to look into. The fact that I can just put my army on the border and then be like, Hello! Thank you for your lands. And it's also kind of interesting that I don't actually have to capture all the land to get the land that I asked for. Like, I don't have to actually hold those province. I didn't have to hold any territory in these provinces. I just got them. Um. Alright, who needs some land? Congratulations. Grant, wait, why did you come over here? Grant landed title. Alishi. Actually, you can have Crimea. Um, you're all ambitious. Grant landed title. Alishi. Um, actually, I don't care that much that you guys are ambitious anymore. Uh, because the game's about to end. <laughs> I lower that one. Um, you can have Lower Dawn, and who gets Leukemia? You, you're pretty awesome. Congratulations, you're going to get Lukamori. Alright, cool. So, that being done, uh, let us head down here to uh, hit this guy next. It's kind of funny that I've had all this land for most of the game, and I still haven't been able to convert it from Sunni. But it is, like I said, it is what it is. God, the Holy Roman Empire is going to be a beast uh, in EU4. We're going to have just three superpowers, basically. Four, or actually even more than that, because if you look at, at Scandinavia, who should probably be able to recover? They'll be a, a beast, and then the Timurids will be a beast. Let's not forget about Tukluk. There'll be a beast as well. Yeah, there's gonna be beasts everywhere. Oh. Goodbye. Get rid of all those messages. Um Let's keep this guy as our friend. No reason to not to get rid of him. Alright, it's time to go to uh, speed 4, which means we're just going to get more and more pop-ups. But, 
I mean, we've accomplished our goal. If if this was any other game, I would have already finished the last episode, two episodes ago, probably, and just been like, "Bitches, we're done. I'm out." <laughs> so one thing we need to do is not die. Basically, we need to live another four years. And then, I don't know, is there anybody else I want to attack? I don't really want to take this random little province right here. I don't want to have just like a little ding-dong sticking out that way. Um, this is all doing fine. We have a daughter. Um, let her rot, and then let's see if I can sell anybody. I don't know if gold carries over in any way. Um, doesn't look like it. Um, this is my grandson. Will you rule one day? Sure, you can become ambitious. Congratulations, that is a good, good trait, even though you probably won't need it. This is such a... I like these random little provinces. Do I have a province here? No. Look for a second, like I had a random little province right there. Oh, are we taking a... Are you guys taking this? Wait, who's taking what? Who are you? Oh no, Genoa's trying to take that. Oof. I would like that land, but whatever. Whatever. Um, I can become stressed and everybody hates me. I can become gregarious and everyone likes me. Or I can become deceitful. Well, let's see if we can become gregarious, which we already are anyway, so... And everybody likes me. Oh, and we're here. The army has arrived, guys. Let's just briefly pause. Declare war. Holy war for Antioch. Move in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People dying all over the place. Wait, did somebody just come into my war? The Elkanate has joined the war. That's interesting. And the question is, will they even have enough time to uh, sufficiently arrive to mean anything? Come on. This will probably be our last war. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Now, we're going to end up less than, you know, other dynasties, uh, which is unfortunate because I think that we've done far more than some of the other dynasties. Being able to completely turn the tide against the Ottomans uh, and their conquest of, of our territory, I think, is huge. Um, we got some, some guys we can get from here, right? 1,600. Another 1,600. Yeah, come on down, guys. You want to marry my cousin to your daughter? Nope. Don't have quite the men right now to uh, push this that siege, so... Um, our son can become humble or proud. Proud or humble, I don't think either really matters. So 50% chance he becomes humble. Yeah, he's neither, that's fine. Alright, that's enough men, I think, to uh, push, push the siege. Oh, there's uh, 14,000 guys right here, we're gonna go crush them. Where are you at, guys? No, go this way, towards Aleppo. Join the join the, the push towards these guys. I don't think you're going to have enough men to do it, because I think my horse, my heavy cavalry is going to run you down right now. Yep. Right now. God, heavy cavalry is incredibly overpowered. Um, 
Too bad they didn't give us more war contribution. Alright. Oh, f crap. That's 4,000 guys here. This is the city we want, right? Yeah. This is what we actually want, is in Antioch. So those 4,000 guys, I mean, that's good and all, but we're just going to ignore them. And they're going to, they want peace now. Excellent. So we've uh, got some more great land. Um, that's probably really good for our religion as well, controlling Antioch. Just giving all this land away. I need to give away those provinces that I just found. Um, we'll say any here because uh, we're out of good characters. Grant landed title. Uh, you can have Antioch. Congratulations. You're content, so I will give you uh, Alexandretta. And you look not too bad as well. So congratulations, you're going to get um, Arca. Alright, cool. So now we're just going to steamroll towards the end of the game. You, somewhere around here, I believe these guys have a castle. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this army over here. And we're going to crush them in a, in a nice fun battle and get their castle. Oh, come on. With the city back under Eastern Roman control, the Patriarch of Antioch has been properly restored as one of the Episcopal sees of the Pentarchy. It was originally founded by St. Peter the Apostle. Sweet. God be praised. I mean, I could try to, to storm for Rome. Out of curiosity, could I just take Rome? Oh, we have army levies raised. Um... Okay. Now we don't have any army that was raised. I was leading troops. Didn't even realize that. Okay, declare war. Claim Rome. I could claim Rome for um, Orson of Sicily. I might do that just before the end of the game. Oh, and there's my my lovely d bags. Lots of things to do, guys. In in about two and a half years. Let's at least make the end of this game nice and exciting. Alright, so we'll crush the these guys. 44% where you guys going? Alatea. You're going this way. Then we'll go this way. Okay. I don't like declaiming people as heretics. Um, let's not make him arbitrary. Oh, he's my grandson, actually. Let's make him arbitrary. Alright, won that war. Off of peace. Enforce demands. Good. Um, banish. Execute. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here. After that, we're going to take a boat over to here, and we're going to try to take the papacy. Or at least uh, Rome from the papacy. And that's probably going to be the last war we have. Make it nice and exciting at the end here. But I'm definitely going to get rid of uh, the Bektashi or, or They've been driving me insane for years. Alright, now that we're here... Declare war for this. Isn't that a nice little trick? 75% done. Let's get some boats ready. Let's get some boats ready. How many boats is that? Not enough. Go away, boats. How many boats do we have in our capital? 243. Not quite enough. Uh, 223. Whatever. You come here. Uh, I don't want to raise our boats because that's going to cost us 
million dollars. Why aren't you coming? Two years to go. I realize that we're already at basically the 20 minute mark for this episode, but uh, we're just gonna run long, guys. We're running long for the final episode. Jesus Christ, he's called everybody into a war that will be over before they ever get here. Where are you going? Get there. Come on. We're not the siege fucking leader. Can I murder this guy? Jesus Christ. I hate when I'm not the goddamn siege leader. I also hate when a goddamn uh, another Sunni rebellion rises up. Where is this one? I don't see it. Oh, it's way the fuck up here. Okay. Well, we know what to do about that. Not that, apparently. This is the closest, uh... Go over there, please. God damn it, dude, just rush the siege. I mean, I realize it's not going to take very long for us to win the war anyways, but... Sweet. More people converting to the correct faith. Oh, that guy's upset at me. The whole Roman Emperor is upset at me a little bit. No big deal. Come on. Good. This war is over. Offer peace. Peace and forced demands. Yes. Ended that stupid order. No longer exists. Merge. Get on the boats. Get on the boats. Oh, there's a plague rampaging through that that part of the world. I realize right now that, that I'm not going to be able to get rid of the papacy because of the, the papacy bug. It doesn't really matter. I don't have any time left anyways. And just controlling the counties, all that really matters when going into EU4. Um, as for my next CK2 game, I still don't know which one I'm going to play yet. I haven't decided. Um, uh, as I said, you know, I'm really, really interested in doing, a, you know, a Mali game, doing a Zoroastrian game, um, doing a... a Republic game, um, doing something Muslim, I haven't done a lot of time, spent a lot of time with the Muslims, uh, so there's lots of things I'd be interested in, in trying out. This should end this battle. Good. You're done. Offer peace, enforce demands. You know what? I don't even give a crap about your troops. Yeah, sorry. You guys lost half your men. <laughs> Excellent, and we've made it here. Lower the boats. Hello, your popiness. Declare war, claim Rome. I know how much you're gonna hate me, but uh, the Holy Roman Empire is coming for its land back. This is our house. No, I don't want to inherit... In Brace this stupid thing. Good. Problem solving. <laughs> Return to the proper religion. Did I turn to... I am... Cat Orthodox again. Good. 13% done. Holy crap. It's going to take a while to uh, build up the strength to siege this place. And what's really interesting is that it's going to take... Uh, that you have a butt ton of forces. But you know what I have? A butt ton of forces. Yes, guys, a butt ton is an actual unit of measure. You guys get on these boats, please. Oh, I have an army here, too. Um, get over here, please. Looks like this will be a 30-minute episode. 30-minute concluding episode to the series. I'm no longer paranoid. That's probably not a good thing. Let's see what's going on with the, the Ro Holy Romans. Just make sure that the... Or the actual Romans. <laughs> Just making sure that they haven't raised a gigantic force to come and get me. Um, 
board the boats. Oh, I'm Jesus is no longer giving me military advice, which means my martial skill is gonna tank. Get on the boats, please. Oh, go here. And you. You guys there yet? Get on the boats. You come here. Um, tip off the victim. Sweet. I mean, we're converting all the provinces we possibly can with, uh, what, a year remaining? Or is it two years? I forget. Does the game end in 1454 or 1453? Uh, it doesn't particularly matter, does it? We've accomplished our main goal. We're gonna conquer Rome. Come on. Get off the boat. Thank you. 22,000 men. You know who's not going to be leading them? Me. Stand down, my, the navies. Now the question is, will we have enough time to, to win these sieges? Alright. 50,000 men. Goodbye, castle number one. It's already March. Goodbye, city. It's April. Are you going to surrender? Well, sweet holy Jesus. We've got Rome. We've got everything except for this the papacy. Um, but that's okay. We control, uh, sweet. We did it, guys. We did it. We control Rome. Do we get some sort of cool pop-up that says now that Rome has returned to the fold? There's a dangerous faction. Why are you guys all in this faction? Demand religious conversion. Send gift. Send gift. Not gonna have it all fall apart right here at the end. Send gift. Send gift. All right. There goes the dangerous faction. <laughs> Gone. Yep, that was a that was what I call buying your way out of trouble. Who is uh, this guy? Declare war, county claim. Uh, yeah, we can't claim these things just quite yet. That's too bad. All right, let's end this game. Let's end it. Well, people of Constantinople are upset at me. A troubadour and his wife has arrived. I'm um, gain one learning, get one intrigue. Sure, let's gain one intrigue. Maybe I can murder the Pope. What the hell just happened? Oh, that was the wrong map mode. <laughs> um, yeah, can we murder the Pope? Let's find that out real quick. Can I murder you? Assassinate? Where are you? Where do you live? Where do you live, Popey Pope? You apparently are leading troops in Minsk. That is an interesting thing to be doing. Oh, there was a crusade going on. I forgot about that. Um, can we murder you? Assassinate. Boom. Good. The Pope's dead. Long live us. Declare war. County claim. I want all of Rome under my control. Including your stupid papacy. Siege. 
It's August. We got five months to go, I think. All right, raise your armies. Bring them in. Will you get there in time? 12. Yeah, you'll get there. First of September. Can you siege? You can rush. Excellent. And you will. You can, and you will. Excellent. The remaining forces have arrived. They just lost like 3,000 guys because they're probably stupid. Um, God damn it, they have a lot more guys all of a sudden. These castles of theirs are incredibly potent. Um, but that's okay. Get on the boat. I don't think we're going to win this war, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll push the siege even though it makes no sense. Do it. All right, here we go. I think this is the last month of the war. Of the game. Oh, he's going to surrender. Fuck yeah, guys. He surrendered, and we've taken all of Rome. That is awesome. Will you get back in time? You will not. Will you, what if you came here? Would you get back in time? No. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to... Slow down. Sweet, we got the thing. The Penta the Rome has been restored. If we restore them all, we can mend the Great Schism. Alright, so this on this day, just in case this is the last day, I'm going to save real quick. Just because I want to, uh, you know, take pictures and stuff. <laughs> Sorry that this is running really long. I realize this is going to be a 30-ish minute episode. Um... But it's about to end. Once the save ends. Alright, here we go. It's auto-saving. So maybe saving was a mistake. And there's the game, guys. I thank you guys very much for watching. Um, we are better than the English. <laughs> um, not as good, apparently, as the Capets. But, uh, I don't have the, the export DLC enabled right now. I'll have to, to do that. But I can still, I should be, I'll have no problem doing that. Anyways, I thank you guys very much for watching. We, uh, we did fantastically. Uh, it's too bad I can't zoom out, but I did save it just before this day. So, uh, so you'll be able to see that in the near future. Anyways, uh, once again, I thank you for watching. And I hope you'll join me on my next episode of CK2. As well as any EU4 or anything else I plan on doing. So, I will see you guys on the next whatever.